Hey everyone, welcome back to Unsealed and Revealed. It's the web series from Sidechain, which me and two of my geekiest besties all the way out in California will unseal and reveal for you the latest and coolest new things in the six scale world. My name is Terry Smith. I'm the host of the show. And uh, with me, as always, way the hell out there in California, as mentioned before, is Guy Klender and Paul Hernandez, the aforementioned besties. What's up, dudes? Oh, loving it. Excited to be here. DX figure, Terry. It's a DX figure. Yeah, I know, man. Yeah, it's always a good time with DX, DX Deluxe, whatever whatever you yeah. want to call it. It's uh, pretty awesome. This is one that I've actually anxiously been awaiting and hoping that we get the chance to reveal. Um, so uh, yeah, it's here <laughs> now. That's awesome. I just want to give a shout out to everybody who tuned in today. Thanks for joining us. It's middle of a bit, middle of a day on Tuesday, and you were able to find the time to be here. Very much appreciate that. Uh, special shout out to anybody who's this to whom this might be your first experience with Unsealed and Revealed. We want to say hi to you. Make sure that you chime in in the chats. Paul is going to be hanging out there monitoring everything, and we'll uh, hopefully be able to give you a shout out by the end of the show. Uh, yeah, Terry? that's um. Did yes. you see Paul's grooming device, his bat grooming device he's been using? No, I have not. That's wow. how he gets that I perfect bat, beard. Look at that. Wow. That's, That's how really, you get really that. cool. I got to give yeah. me one of them. Specifically I clearly airplanes. need to as well. Yeah. That's Oh, it's quite nice. It's, <laughs> it's nice. And I only cut myself about 75% of the time, but oh, that's that fine. 25% of the time, Another I'm 25. fine. Looking spectacular. <laughs> just want to point, just want to point out. Just want to point out that that's only going to get worse the older that you get, Paul. So, yeah. So, Paul, you had a, you were in the middle of saying something. So, I don't, I don't want to interrupt. So, go ahead and say what you got to say here. No, no problem. No? Sorry. I think my Wi Fi is cutting out. I had really bad issues with my Wi Fi. So, I'm getting every other word here. So, if I'm, if I'm speaking over you, Terry, it is intentional. <laughs> Um, oh, but yeah, I figured. Yeah. <laughs> so, hi everyone. Welcome and uh, to Unsealed and Revealed. You're hanging out with some of your favorite posers, and we are going over a figure that we not only are just seeing for the first time all over in the collector sphere, but we just dropped a first look video for it as well. And then, boom! Immediately following, we've got an Unsealed and Revealed, and only the way Sideshow can do it for you. But we are live on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch right now. And remember, that is only until we get to the month of May. That's right. Beginning in May, all of Sideshow shows will only be on YouTube. All of them. Unsealed, <laughs> common cosplay, everything will just be on YouTube. So mark your calendars, create that YouTube account. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. Because starting in May, all of our shows are in YouTube. All right. I got I to gotta get back to shaving here and I got to moderate. Oh, yes. Gary? You're a busy man. You're a busy man. Yep, got we gotta have, to yeah, we got to have you doing what you do. Yeah. Love um, this DX figure. DX going uh, to give it to you. Def definitely looking forward to this one. <laughs> oh, God. Nice work, dude. Um, okay. I th I don't think I can top that. I'm just going to go. Let's just go straight from that remark by Paul and go straight into the figure. Guy, dive into this thing. Let's talk cool. about the packaging. All right. Let's talk DX19. Now, first up, when you take a look at this package, we're going to zoom in there. You see that it says the Dark Knight Trilogy. Um, and that is because this, particularly when we get into the accessories and a bit on the style of it, is really a culmination of the multiple suits. Uh, and it tells the whole trilogy here, which is very cool. Now, as far as a DX, if you've ever been given a DX figure before, if this is your first one, the packaging is pretty intense, okay? It's part it of what makes unpretty. it so yeah. uh, good, so part of what makes it so deluxe. And so when you first pull off that outer covering, you are going to have this. And they do these little extra things. Now this is, uh, as you see with some of the other Hot Toys things, we'll have a photo of the figure or something. With the DXs, they do a, a, something a little extra. And this one here is kind of a fun Batarang uh, felt keychain that says DX on there. So, uh, it's, so just, it's the extra. It's the extra. Ah. Uh, it's, it's, it's also, <laughs> right. it's delightful. Um, the dad jokes are starting pretty early sorry. in the show today, Boom. everyone. Sorry. All right. <laughs> we remove that, and here we are. This is the way a DX figure is set up. Again, multiple layers of packaging, a little different than what we see with our traditional figures uh, that we have, where they usually have two kind of snap shell style cases. These are all done in solid foam. Now this little paper overlay allows us to see our figure, the swap out heads, and a little, little information there. I remove that, lift off this paper, lift off that, and then you see what else is in here, and you're going to see swap out hands, weapons, 
change out face plates there. I lift that whole tray up and out. Underneath, you're going to have, here's the biggie. What? Deluxe instructions. What's that? It's deluxe instructions. And I've never seen them Ladies before. and gentlemen, when you, uh, particularly with a DX, there, um, there's a lot going on with figures like this. Um, and so make sure to familiarize yourself with this, particularly uh, what is coming in this lower tray, which is going to be Ooh. not only the base, but you're going to have the little tool here that is for moving the eyes and switching the face plates. You're going to have batteries and extra pegs, and we're going to have mm -hmm. our stand. Okay. And I know it sounds like, well, that's not too much to discuss on there, but there really, really is uh, when you do it. They've uh, done a whole new kind of cape style um so we've really got a good one there um i am yeah, going I, have to... a, I have a hard i have a hard time on those days when you don't talk about the stand guy you might say that i can't stand it yes we are we are on a roll i'm waiting for the the camera is going to cut to paul at any moment with his head shaking at, <laughs> with his is. head shaking like you you buffoon <laughs> yeah there we go i was waiting Score. for the I was waiting for the you're a gosh darn buffoon, um, and and lo and behold, uh, I I got it. All right. Wow, look at that figure. Look at that now, portrait. Boom. Let's take a look. He why is so serious. He is absolutely gorgeous. Now, why don't we start uh, with the portrait here, and we're going to go with a close up. Um, Michael's going to push in because uh, he's just that fun behind the camera. This guy is great. Um, you'll notice we don't have Mike mic'd just, up. But I, you'll never I hear just want no you to know, screamed across with it. I just want you to know that I live for the day that somebody describes me as being a lot of fun behind the camera. It's it's really, <laughs> yeah, it is a life goal that I have yet to achieve. Uh, yeah. You know, it's it's great. But let's take a look at this portrait here. Okay, you got the peering eyes behind the cowl. All right, and mm -hmm. then you've got um, a semi-neutral look there as far as uh, the lower face. Now. We are going to have uh, with this one three additional face plates. Okay, that's part of the mm -hmm. accessories, and uh, we'll swap those out in a moment. You have two that come individually, but you're also going to have two other swap out portraits. As I said, this particular figure incorporates a couple of different um, things that go on in the Bat universe, and the other was when he had the sonar eyes. Boom. Oh, yeah. And this does yeah. have a light up feature inside. You're going to have the batteries to put in a little on off switch there. Do it. Did you already put the batteries in guy? I did. I have already put batteries in um, because um, it's not the most exciting thing to see me put in batteries, but oh, boom. Dang. Look um, at that. Okay. If you have, if you have the DX2, um, if you have the original release of this figure, you saw these eyes. But these are uh, quite a bit brighter, okay? Um, I, I'm seriously going to use that to find my way to the bathroom at night. It's, wow, that's incredible. <laughs> well, um, look at that. Lantern. But <laughs> as you saw with both this head and the other one I showed you, um, if you notice when I was swapping those, they are magnetic, Okay meaning I get plenty of tilt and lean, rotation, all of that, and then the neck also can move, all right? Oh, that's, that's a little cool. articulation point we're jumping to, but because I was showing you the portrait swap out, that was what we were talking about. So um, there we go. We have a little uh, change there. You can see this is what I was talking about with those face plates. Uh, it is going to be in our accessories section a little bit later, but we'll talk about how those swap out, giving you all of the options. But we're up here on the portrait, so there's one more way to show it. This is a new addition uh, to this uh, DX style on this one, and we get a brand new Wayne. We get a brand Wayne. new. Bruce Wayne, yeah. beautiful portrait. Wow, Absolutely yeah, it looks really spectacular. Good. Look from any angle, the skin tone, uh, the determination in the eyes. Um, I would not say that this is a neutral. It is still a uh, very determined and contemplative expression uh, that they've used here. The hair on that is spectacular. I mean, it's not Paul spectacular hair, but it is uh, well, few are. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it is absolutely spectacular. Now, 
Also in the accessories, if this is the head you're going to choose to use, you are going to have a very special neck cowl that you will swap out. Uh, oh, I know the one. Here. Yeah, that's yep. cool. And so that I also that comes back. in there. That's going to be another one of the accessories. But uh, just wanted to show you, boom, there is a crazy, Ooh. crazy amount of options. And uh, I'm going to remove our, yeah. our uh, head there and go back to this one here and discuss what makes this one also unique. Um, number one, great look. Uh, love the look of the, of the uh, cowl. It's neat to see how the bat cowls have changed uh, over the years and all of its, uh, you know, depending on the, the height of the ear and all that. And uh, all of them equally effective too. Yes. The, way the, way the, the way that they can just keep changing the shape of that cowl and yet, okay, it's recognizable and it, and it, as and Batman. It, and it changes it a lot, how you're, yeah. how you're doing it up. Um, but uh, in addition to, like we saw the other one, the eyes light up with this one here, boom. They Turn don't. Around in. <laughs> you can individually, I know I'm here, here I mean, you know, we're in Gotham dark, but there you go. You see the little. No, we sense. can see it just we fine, guys. So individually move those eyes. Um, that's a neat, neat thing to be able to do. And just uh, again, those those tiny minutia uh, that you're able to do uh, with it. Let's work. And our I way think down. it's also important to point out that uh, that that is the signature element of the DX historically, starting with starting with the DX one, which was the Joker. Um, that's the thing. That's the thing that that yep. separates the DX line from the typical MMS variants from Hot Toys. That you can uh, alter the positioning of those eyes, and it just gives you basically another point of articulation or it, two. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's spectacular. Yeah. These are independent; they're not linked together. Uh, if you have some of those first uh, DXs and they kind of moved uh, in pair, they've they've changed that up to be independent, and it's found that that it works a little bit better. It's better that way. Um, yeah. And so that's why they've done it there. But let's take a look at the suit. Okay, that's yeah, another please. thing that's constantly changed throughout Batman is his suit. So let's work our way down. This has that kind of neo mesh, uh, neoprene style um, suit underneath, Understood. and then the panels. If you take a look here in the chest area for one, I'm going to hit it with a little light to see if that pops it up a little. But in the chest area, um, here in the underside, underneath where we've got that bat emblem, is uh, really more where we actually see the carbon fiber. In one of the first mm -hmm. iterations of the Batman suit, we see him painting over that. Um, and then yeah. later on, he didn't necessarily paint all of it. But it does have that very armored feel. Here in the chest, of course, mm -hmm. that bat emblem. Down here, in the abdominal. Now, the neat part is when we said that there is that underlying mesh suit, uh, different than a fully rubberized suit or something like that. Um, he even talked about that in the films. I need to be able to move a little bit more. And you're able to do that again with this suit. You want to be able to move your head. Yes, uh, exactly. Yeah. There on the shoulders, you also have the armor. There down on the side. Take a look at the way the armor is on the back. Very, very cool. Yep. Now, what you'll notice exactly. while we're looking at this is we're not... I'm not having to move the cape out of the way. That's something you can attach after. In fact, you may choose to not, depending on what pose you want to do, you may not want to have it uh, on him. But we'll go over that a little bit. But uh, right now, for articulation and design, we're not going to leave that on there because you're not going to see it. Um, mm, okay. We work our way down. And there we get to the all-important bat utility belt. Um, Batman yes. utility belt. On the back yes, there. Yes, is a little hook, and that we can drop our Grepnel. Yep. All right, another accessory, and look at that. It's it's, it's actually I think that that's only it, to my knowledge that's the only time they've ever really addressed that, like actually showing a place where he hides that grapnel gun. Yeah. Um, you know, it's and it's and I was that was a welcome thing for me because uh, it, in other iterations it always just seemed to appear out of nowhere and, and you just assume that he pulled it out of his utility belt. Right. But with this one, it's always got a home and yep. it's always e easily accessible. So, exactly. Yeah, um, love it. So I'm going to move the arms up and out of the way. Yeah, that's articulation. We'll talk that later. But let's take a look at that utility belt. Um, as I said, you've got the hook mm. for your grep now, and of course, if you have the cape over it. That's going to hide it. Now, this is not permanently attached. You see, I was able to move it. And that's important. So when I'm posing, if I need to kind of lift and move it out of the way, depending on how I want to do it, I can. Now, as far as the 
accoutrements on the outside, his gear, those are permanently attached, all right? Uh, now, working down into the legs, this is where it has kind of those uh, muscular, uh, musculature style uh, armature pieces yeah. uh, over it, again, over the uh, that neoprene style looking suit. Mm -hmm. um, all the way. It's, it really is a, it really is like the panels on that suit really do mirror the musculature in a Exa nice way. Yeah, particularly here in the front, the way that the, the, the muscles lay. Uh, and I that. also like, I also like the way that on his knees, you have what looks like the pucks that you would see on a, uh, on a uh, leather uh, motorcycle racing suit. Um, exactly. It's, it's, exactly. Yeah. In fact, I remember Which when this suit was first shown off, um, there were a few companies that were licensed to create versions like this for motorcycle riding. So, oh, uh, and I almost bought one. Don't uh, think I, I didn't. I'm pretty sure you almost did. <laughs> Very um, close. Yes. Um, now let's take a look at uh, the last part as we work our way down, and that is bat boots. Okay. All right. Um, bat <laughs> boots. Bat boots. Uh, now I bat am going boots. to turn on and off the light, and I'm doing that so you can see how it actually does catch the light. We've got that smooth style, but we also have the texture mm. in there. And so when you see how it's catching the light. Now, it's hidden yeah. very nicely, but it's nice to know we've got that articulation point. You see that that is a cut boot. And we'll be able to rotate and move around, um, Good. which is important. But since we're here, there's the back of the boot. Yeah, got a little, but since we're here, Terry, Here it comes. Wait, last wait for it. more design. It's time for tread watch. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Pow. Show me the tre show me the show treads, me the guy. Tread. Um, show me the treads. <laughs> there we are. Yes, he does have some serious tread um, on the figure. All right, yeah, and that's, that's a great a... thing. That's gonna it's gonna help with a couple other things. Um, so. That kind of takes us through that. As you saw, I do have him uh, on yet another accessory that comes with it, and that is going to be this really cool display stand, kind of that uh, Gotham City steps. Uh, they've done that in a really nice uh, stone look, smashed on the front of it there. We're going to see that symbol. Nice. And we've got a little, little snow style uh, action going on there. All right. I believe, they, I believe they filmed this film in Pittsburgh, right? This, I believe so. Yeah, I believe the exterior for this one was. Um, the now, original Pittsburgh stonework. Um, he stopped the Pittsburgh Steelers. All the people that were stealing in Pittsburgh. That's what Batman stopped. <laughs> no? No? Am I wrong? And we I'm told to not, leave. We did not uh, plan that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that was totally Guy Clender off am, the cuff. And I am told to leave the sweet, studio uh, sweet, immediately. Sweet wow, I am... <laughs> I have never seen security at the door oh. before that quickly. Um, uh, so <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> wow, you did that fast. All right, now, um, awesome. before we uh, bump into the accessory, we've, we've seen a few. Um, we're gonna talk about accessories a little bit later when we go into posing, but <clears throat> let's talk right now uh, about the articulation of the figure, as I'm sure there's uh, quite a bit of questions, uh, and what can I do, what can I not do? Um, so, as you see, I've already moved the uh, arms up and off to the side. But uh, for those just mm. now tuning in, um, welcome to the show. We've got the head on a magnet, giving us a full range tilt, turn, twist. Neck piece also gives us additional movement as well. Yeah. Okay, so you've got a lot there. We work our way down into the arm. Now, the two shoulder pieces of armor do have a connection point there that extends all right you saw how i independently was able to lift them up so i can really lift the arms up and out to the side almost almost a full 90. nice work hot toys all right yeah forward okay now you're not hearing any ratcheting on this one okay uh and that is because i'm not feeling any ratcheting and i don't think the suit would impede it uh from being able to hear it so uh, we're going to go with uh, with no, but able to go backward. A design element we need to discuss that you can now clearly see here are going to be these. Mm -hmm. The reason I bring these up is number one, they're cool. Uh, yep. Number two, they're sharp. Um, okay, these are pointy little ends. 
when we do go and put the cape on it, make sure when you're posing that you're, keep in mind that you've got these sharp objects. I should probably point out that I have actually, those actually have drawn blood on me. D there you go. This, yeah. You know, so um, use, use caution. What that means, folks, is if you've ever had the question, does he? Yes, Terry Smith bleeds for his art. He I does. Do. He does. There's actually a video that features it. I he turned does it into indeed a dream do it. Um, yeah. So there, as far as our arm, now let's talk about our elbow. All important Batman would be able to throw batarangs and things like that. So we got a double joint. Yeah, that's on cool. On our elbow, as far as our wrist, this is our classic wrist peg design. If you have any questions on that, Terry and I will be happy to go into it. Uh, we also are able to pivot. Got a bicep pivot there. Mm -hmm. And it's a little hard to see because of the armor, but we do have a butterfly joint there. Working our way down to the torso. Now, we said that there are armored panels, which normally make it a lot uh, more difficult to move in those, uh, but it is done in a style that gave him a little bit more movement. So let's take a look at what we can do. We can okay. lean. Uh, yeah, torso um, tilt. Yeah, torso tilting. Torso tilting. We're able to twist. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. depending on getting more twist, you're going to use the torso and waist probably in more of a combination to get, uh, get a little bit more. You can hear there's where I moved it down at the waist. Right. Okay. But we get a pretty okay. darn good crunch. Why does yeah, this look like need. he's carrying two pails of water back from a well? Um, which is not not a pose probably anybody would do. Um, and that just that comment pretty much ensures that I'm just going to be thinking about Disney's Fantasia for the rest there of the day. There we go. Thank you, guys. And and yeah. then you've got this. And, like, this is this is the uh, tilt the head back angle. This and this is the why does guy make such bad jokes. Um, that's that's the why, why God why? why does he make these jokes? Why? Um, why? why? But boom! But there you go. Um, that's the first pose. Bam! Good We've question. already done it. Um, let's work down onto the leg and hip area. Yeah. First up, we are able to pivot and turn. The nice part is having those panels on. You can tell that I'm giving it a little twist and a little turn. Mm. All right. Okay. That's we are not able to bad. extend. The leg again, yeah. remember, you do have an undersuit, so it's going to be a uh -huh. little snug, but he wasn't uh, flailing with the front kicks. We can go a little bit backward as well. All important knee, double joint. Oh, that's a good, that's a there. good amount of flex. Boom. For those of you just now tuning in, Terry, say it again. Once more, it is time for Tread Watch. Oh, yes. There it is, Tread Watch. Like um, and right here. <laughs> <laughs> What, what was that, Paul? Tread watch. Um, and while we're there, wow, thank you for the camera work there. Uh, we do have a peg style that allows for tilt and lean. I'm also able to rotate and tilt side to side. Okay, so okay. got a lot of great okay. motion yep. in that boot. All right, so that takes us through that. Um, Wow, so much going on with this dude. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. I'm, I'm going to uh, move him off to the side. We're going to look at uh, one accessory now. It, it is packaged in that second tray, the lower tray, and that is this guy, the big bat cape. Okay, it is done on a little cardboard thing that'll keep it nice and flat in there. Now, uh, we don't have to uh, worry about wires being bent or anything like that. This does not have a wire to it. Um, what I am now doing is on top, and Terry, let me know if, if uh, we're getting a glare from the under light, let me know to show it. No, it's differently. fine, dude, it's good, looks good. But we're gonna have these two clips, all right? And they are gonna clip into the suit. Now, what you're seeing here is the inside, and there is a kind of a silken neckline up there, and that's trying to pr protect where it lays on the figure. That's now, handy. we're going to cut to a Quick. wide shot, and that is because of that. Yeah, dude. Okay? This is... Um, I keep going play. Yeah, <laughs> this is big. about... Yeah. Now, Terry, I've only known that's you to huge. wear a cape in public a few times, but I believe yours was about uh, this type. It's uh, pretty massive. Yeah, I remember you had two other fans that carried the the uh, ends of it as you walked through the convention like, hall. It was pretty incredible. Like, like, 
Like ceiling fans? Yeah, or? exactly. Um, yeah. So as you see, it does have that hint of scallop edge on the cut all the way down sure. there on the bottom. And as I said, it will lay naturally. Boom. So when I do have it clipped in, where I'm kind of holding uh, it in my hand right now, about where uh, they would be on it, you'll see that it lays mm. nicely on its own. Now, so that's ready I, to go. I, I have a quick question from Doc Smizzle over on Twitch. Um, yes. He asks, can Guy clarify if the cape is removable after putting it on the figure when it, when, yeah, it that is that is a, something that can be done? That is an absolutely great question. I'm glad you asked it. And I can answer, yes, you can. And why can I answer, yes, you can? Because if you were uh, this morning and you got to see our first look video, we recorded that just a little bit ago. Um, and to put him back in the box for today's show, I did have to be able to remove the cape. So yes, you can remove the cape. I'm gonna show you how we uh, put it on in a moment. Uh, and if you need to see it, go back the other way. Happy to do it. Happy to do it. Um, Terry, actually, because of that. Oh, I'm not hearing Terry either, actually. Mime. Well, probably can't hear me right now, folks, so I'm going to continue to unpack items. All righty, so, um, Michael, uh, people, you may not be able to hear me, but we're going to be able to go through the. Michael, could you give me a close-up here on the shoulder? I'm going to lean the figure down. The cape is actually going to go in the two sides here. As I said before, how important the instructions are, it's going to be right in here about how you're going to do it with these clips and how they lay in. Okay? You'll know when they're in, and yes, you are able to undo them. I'm not going to put it on quite yet while he's waiting. Are we still waiting for audio? Yep. All righty. Spectacular. That's all right. Next up, I'm going to turn the light off for this. I'm going to turn it back on. We have the EMP gun. Thank you, Michael, for staying in close up. Boom. To reveal these. On the underside is a little switch. That when I hit the switch, We then have the light effect. All right. I'm going to stop there and show off the next. We'll stay in close up. What we have here is the two pieces of his sticky bomb gun. Okay. When connected, It'll go a little something like this. Let's take a look at all of the little rivets, the metal elements in there. The handle will fold down as so. See on the right? You've got a little notch right there. And you've got a targeting computer up there. But again, take a look at the beautiful look on that. All right. The other side of it is here. Yeah, thank you, Michael. Is right here. I'm going to slide that out. You can rotate the entire handle. Slide this forward as well. These are a little metalized. So that's how it will transform. So, lot of coolness on that one there. Now, are we um, no, we're still trying to get it to work? Beautiful. And then our two halves, our two halves, push together like so. Wait, yep, I've got one more piece to pull down. Dunk. There is our completed little gun. Let's go to the close-up on that. 
fully transformed sticky bomb gun. All right, well, um, we are still waiting on stuff, so I'm gonna move those off to the side. And we're gonna talk about, why don't we stay on the close-up there? We're gonna have a relaxed hand, okay? We're gonna have this guy here with a little bit of closed action, and that can hold the batarangs that we're gonna look at in a moment. We have a relaxed left hand and a gripping left hand as well. And here you're getting the gloss on the knuckles, on the fingertips, a little on the inside. So very, very cool um, that we get that. Well, you know what? Let's take a look at the next accessories. We're gonna stay in the close-up, please. We're gonna have three batarangs, two mini bombs, and that neck. I'm gonna take the neck out now and we're going to do a swap out, removing magnetic head, removing the neck piece, neck piece down here. Boom, spunk. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Pretty darn cool, right? Pretty darn cool. Um, now, I'm, my bet is that my counterparts cannot hear me, and that's all right. That's quite all right. Putting this in my ear here. All right. Hey there, folks. Uh, hey, how about that? Hey, okay, well, I'm now... I'll take it back. Hearing you. <laughs> Rejoining you. <laughs> um, yes, I don't know if I'm, where, which mic I'm hearing you from, but. Guys, that AirPod, you can give that back to Alan. You can be able to hear Terry and Paul just fine now. Um, Sorry, folks. You know, that was the, it was, I, I needed to it's put on. It's good to be back, ladies you know, and gentlemen. Thank it, you. Yeah. Terry, there was yeah. so much. So much sound going on uh, for me there. I felt like I should probably put on the little sonar head. Uh, oh, you probably should have. Yeah, yeah. should have, should have yeah. had Do the sonar. Do they have a life-size version of one of those? Because I would pay money for that. Boom. Wouldn't that be neat? Um, yeah. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Take two. There we go. Thank there you. we go. Right. Take Thank two. You. Thank you, Sam. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, while uh, really? you could not hear me, or maybe you did hear me, Terry, um, we have been going over the swap out, okay? Um, yes. And put the neck coil on there, uh, on there as well mm -hmm. as changed out the portrait. Our next change we're going to show here um, with this head here. We're going to do a little close-up action again. These will swap out. You'll look on the inside when I spin it around. You see that little circle there. Now remember I told you about the little tool that comes yep. with it? That's for moving the eyes and also if you need to remove these. I'm gonna push one mm -hmm. out, that's the neutral. Um, and we have a couple of others. And I'm deciding which one I wanna put in. Oh, just toss a coin, yeah. And this we're gonna call the, oh, that's a good looking figure. Oh. Um, Oh, look at that figure. You're Where are the other drugs going? Um, so, Swear uh, to me. <laughs> so again, these face plates that we talked about, um, they can be put into any of them, all right? Yeah. You can put it into this one as well. <laughs> now this is when you have the two voices on your shoulders uh, that are talked about sometimes. This is what that looks like uh, in Batman form. All right, so we oh, do have really quick, really, really quick guy. I'm going to cut in because uh, it yes. turns out that we do have a. I just want to, to give a shout out to a few people in the chat uh, joining us as always. Of course, are a bunch of the old guys, and I'm not just talking about me and you, guy. Oh, uh, there are other gold guys in the chat, including Mike Fayella is joining us today. How's it going, Mike? It's good to see you again. I saw your comment earlier. Yeah, so it's uh, it's always good to hear from you. By the way, folks, if you guys actually call me out or have any questions for me in comment sections, I do go back and rewatch the show periodically, and sometimes I'll endeavor to answer those uh, those questions in the comments. So and if you have anything to ask me specifically, then feel free to do so. Singer songwriter is here, a long time viewer. I don't remember ever not seeing him in the chats. 
of a uh, episode of Unsealed and Revealed, JJ Joe, who's a long time hey, viewer, hey, and hey, Pat Bodden. Both these guys are back. Uh, in addition to these old timers, we've got a couple of new dudes as well. I'm talking about you, Luke Northy. Welcome to the show. Hope to have you back again someday. Uh, you can look forward to these kind of hijinks all the time. Um, as well as Chewy's Bandolier. I wonder what that's in reference to. Um, yeah, but uh, right. yeah, welcome, both of you and anybody else out there. If this is your first time, the name of the show is Unsealed and Revealed. It's a web series from Sideshow. We clearly are unboxing something that is new, newly revealed in the unsealed, or in the unsealed, in the six scale world. Uh, and we're doing a deep dive today into the Batman DX19, a six scale figure uh, by uh, by Hot Toys. So uh, let's continue as we were, Guy. Uh, right. Thanks for letting me break in there for a little bit. Well, thank uh, Mike you. Fella, Mike Fellas, a comment from Mike Fiala, by the way, that sticky bomb gun looks delicate. Will Guy give us any tips on how to get him to hold that? Okay. We'll get that. We'll get into that. You know what? We're going to we'll get, get into, into that, that in the closing in a moment, session. But uh, I'm glad yeah. you bring it You bring it up. It, it um, It's delicate. But it is definitely mm. something that uh, that you're able to work with. If you've had that, like I said, there are people that may have the DX2. That was the first time we saw this. Um, and they yeah. just, uh, as we know, Hot Toys is never satisfied with what they've done. They keep going further. And they've, mm. they've done it with that. Yeah. Um, another all important, uh, we talked about that there was the uh, sticky gun. Showed you yep. the EMP gun. You're going to have two of these. Got to have your little mini know. bombs. We'll do I'm little... sorry, guy. I have to. I have to ask. And those mini bombs are really cool. And remember, I, I cut out for a little bit there. But uh, did you already cover the batarangs? Well, I think what you mean is you're going to have three oh, of yeah. these beautiful gold. Would you? Yeah. Just take I'm a look at that. And this is that special. Of You've got three. Three. I have three officially licensed. So do they work? Do yours work? Because this one he can hold. They do. It. They do. Like seriously. you could, like ready? You could have a throw. Like, like you can seriously throw it. Like watch this. Here. Okay. Ow! Want to do it again? Oh, Come there on, it is. Wow. Man. It's a, yeah. It's, sorry, man. I actually didn't expect it to get that far. I thought I was throwing light, I've but I told uh, you, yeah. you have a lot of forearm strength. <laughs> that wow. That years. Jeez, of dude. We did Gary, have incoming storm you series. Mic. Yeah. Dude, thank uh, you. Wow. Thank yeah. you. Uh, <laughs> Make sure to from from thousands of miles away, ladies yes. and gentlemen. That, so these things, yeah. If you have a chance to get on to one of these officially licensed um, batarangs, then yeah, uh, those then, are yeah. officially licensed. Um, there's a how-to <laughs> video that Terry will be doing soon. But uh, yes, you're going to have three of these, and this is that uh, the hand accessory that uh, can hold them pretty darn cool. So it's a neat, uh, neat thing. They do have that slight beveled edge. Uh, remember, as we I said that this kind of showed all of the different uh, ways that we've had Batman throughout. Mm. Uh, we did see him, you know, grinding those to have an edge uh, in the film. Yeah, but, so yeah, but is, it looks realistic. Uh, it looks mm -hmm. realistic, but can you shave with it? Um, only the very smallest. That's a good question. Uh, That's a good question. Uh, this for more of a detailing uh, yeah. thing. One Paul whisker would, at a time. Paul, Paul yeah. would know uh, a Paul's little bit more dial on that. that. He's, he's doing it down there off camera. Um, so, okay. Um, it seems that it was, it was while we were... Cutting out, let's talk about the sticky bomb gun. Okay. okay. I'm going to move uh, Mr. Wayne off to the side, and let's take a look at it. First up, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, Modular. Every one of those little rivets, all hand-painted in there. Okay. You're getting wow. that deep black. You're getting that uh, the uh, brass of the uh, extending rods on there. Little hints of color. Uh, in the yep, can you see the little? There's an even little target. Yeah, yeah. Okay, on That's there. Nice. Um, now, if you remember in the film, he has these on the back of his, uh, underneath his cape, on the back of his utility belt. Now, uh, that yeah. does not. Uh, that's not something on this figure. This is one that you'll just be able to pose with. Um, but it that's is fine. a two-piece thing. So when you see this, when you take it out of uh, the foam package, and it it will be like this. Don't freak out that you've broken it. It's not. It's not at all. In fact, that's the way uh, it locks together. I would hate for somebody to go, oh, no, I broke it. Um, I, I didn't want to say anything. Right. So let's first oh, do this oh, God, side here. Oh, God, broke the figure. Uh, whoop, there we go. Let's first do this side here. Slides. Yeah. Spins. Pushes together. Slides back. Totally modular. Okay. Modular for the win. Closes. Okay. Neat. Boom. So that's your one piece. Your other piece here, really just have the two handles. 
one pushes up on the front and the other on the back. Now, oh, um, that is so bitching. You were talking about the, uh, the delicate nature of that. When mm. you bring this one down, gently, you'll hear it snap. Pull it until <laughs> and, it snaps and, and in place. You'll, you'll hear that snap in the good way. Yeah, That's you, right. I, what Thank I mean you, is you'll be auditorily, you'll know. If I'm just putting it here, that's not quite there. Boom. Okay. Okay. Snaps in place. All right. Ah. And then, of course, as you saw, I transformed them and had them together. But so really, it's a transformer. Really, really very cool. Um, glad, glad that that was included. It's a very fun uh, thing that he had uh, in there. Um, speaking of weapons, he's got his all important grapnel. Grapnel. And yeah. we're, I want you to thank you. Oh, nice. And even, I mean, come on. Lock and load. Did, it doesn't Lock need to load. do that, but uh, Hot Toy said, you know what, let's make it do that. Can uh, I just say that this is my favorite variant of the Batman grapnel gun of, of all the different designs. This is, oh, okay. uh, this is definitely the one that I prefer. This, this, is, sexy, this is your fave? Sleek. Yeah, you're with me, Paul? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really same. awesome. Yeah. Um, now, because you've got that there, what I want to do is show we do have both a right and left hand in the accessories. I just love those gloves. I, I used to have gloves like that with my when they're, I had my last motorcycle. They're very much a driving glove, aren't they? A, a, a motorcycle driving glove. Oh, it's such a, a motorcycle glove. glove. Yeah, with those, uh, with those, with those, Kev uh, not Kevlar, but with those carbon fiber knuckle things, mm -hmm. and it just looks so freaking awesome. And I actually did go. They scream badass. Like... They do. They do. Yeah, they were way too badass for me. And I did have an accident. I, I did crash a motorcycle, low sided one day, riding into sideshow. And those gloves, that carbon fiber saved my knuckles, saved man. I mean, yeah, I caught nothing. That's right. Yeah, uh, the reason I can still pose without without giving anybody nightmares with my from my scarred tissue is uh, is because of those knuckles on the gloves. So hot toys. Batman is knows the stuff. Great at hiding um, their little on-off switches. They're hiding the batteries. Battery compartment yes. for this one here, right there on the side, underneath. You're actually looking for it for a components. while. When you first get it, you're like. Uh, where am I putting the batteries? Where am I putting the batteries? And then on the uh -huh. underside, we've got our little on-off switch. Okay, it's a single uh, bright LED that you see in there, uh -huh. but because these are kind of a crystal style look, they do catch the light on the side. Now we've got the lights of the studio that might make it a little harder to, to see those illuminated. Look Can we kill that. those? There look we go. at that, Michael's yeah. already doing it. Boom, that you can get us. that illuminated quality. And when you see him fire it in the film, we've got that. That is just dead. That is just so dead. So that's sexy, just a, a fun, yeah, a fun I aspect. Uh, uh, I want, I want this figure. <laughs> you do, you do. Yeah. You know, you can, yeah. you can pre-order it on a site. Um, oh, oh do boy, tell. what's the name of that yeah. site, Terry? Do you remember? Yeah. yeah um, Slideshow, slideshow, yeah, slideshow. As Paul probably yeah. knows. Slideshow connectables. That's yes. It. Yeah. Yes. No. Mm -hmm. um, it's Paul's like slideshow. gonna. Slideshow. Slideshow. Thank you, Paul. Thank, thank you, Paul. Thank, thank you very much, Paul. Dark Knight, oh God, yeah, they're gonna. <laughs> those people over at those people over at uh, slideshow connectables are gonna get they're gonna exactly. They're today. they're getting inundated <laughs> uh, with stuff. Why are we getting so many hits? Uh, and they're like, look, we only transfer people's family photos. What is this about? Hmm. Um, all right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, so Terry, um, yes, I've tried to show you a lot. I know we had some audio uh, issue, but is there mm -hmm. something about this figure that I haven't shown you that you want to know about? Mm, nothing comes to mind. All right. Nothing at the top of my head at this point. Yeah. The only thing we've not talked about is going to be the cape. So at yes. this point here, uh, I am going to attach the cape. I'll let you and Paul do a little bit of housekeeping. Um, I will at the end of the show, please remind me, uh, as well as the viewer who asked, please remind us, and I will show how we will take the cape off. Okay, uh, yeah, sure. Because I well, know there was obviously. the conversation, yeah. but again, follow your instructions. These are the, while, we, while you and I uh, were kind of audio dropped, um, I was trying to kind of point out, here's the clip, mm -hmm. and here's where it's going to go. All right. Yeah, it's going to be a little hard. I need in. something a little overhead to uh, to see. Also a figure in, in dark okay. black. But 
Um, well, while you're doing that, I should point out that uh, this coming uh, Friday, this is Anime Day is this Friday at Sideshow. There's going to be, as I understand it, Paul, there's going to be some shows, rewards, and giveaways. You want to talk about that a little bit while a uh, guy is doing his housekeeping? There? Yes. Yes. Sounds Share. good. Shows and giveaways. Yeah, so um, we've got an Anime Day this Friday. Sideshow does. Um, all of your favorite... <laughs> My turn. Next, Terry. I'll throw the next <laughs> oh, one. Um <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we've got some ga games, some rewards, some giveaways. So just tune in to wherever you're watching Sideshow. Tune in on Friday. I, th I think we've got a show at like 10 to, uh, if I remember correctly. I can't okay. tell you exactly what they are yet, but um, if we need players, we need contestants for anything, we'll let you know. Check the group, side.show forward slash geek group. Um, but yeah, if you are um, an anime fan, come correct on Friday. Come show up. We might have some cool. trivia. I'll be honest, I'm uh, not on the social team anymore. I have no idea what the schedule is. <laughs> I'm not. I don't, I don't have a clue. But the schedule will be up most likely on Thursday uh, morning or maybe even by Wednesday. So just stay tuned. Uh, we've got an anime day. Coming up, Terry, are you, are you an anime fan? I don't really know. You know, I, 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 I love and appreciate anime for what it is, but I can, mm -hmm. I can never be described as an anime fan, nor even an enthusiast. Um, my, the amount of things that I don't know about anime can just about fill the Grand Canyon. Uh, but again... It's uh, almost as much as there is anime out there. Pretty much. Yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. so. Yeah. Same. I mean... Love, yes, that's that's definitely Sam. I go to Sam. He's my point man when I need when I have an yeah. anime question. Yeah. Um, I well, I'll tell you what I do know is like I know Vampire Hunter D. That's uh, that I just love yeah. that. I love that so much. Um, I, I remember just all of the older anime shows, the um, like Inuyasha, Yu Yu Show, like all of these shows that were kind of getting flooded in with the uh, you know this American sentiment of people loving anime. And just my cousin was a huge fan, and he lived with us, so it was like by osmosis. I was yeah. just watching all of these shows, and I loved them. Um, so, yeah, if you are a huge fan, uh, if you think you know more about anime than other people, tune in on Friday at either 10 or 2, and we should have, like, a trivia, maybe a cult cosplay. Um, but, again, that schedule will go up this week. Um, we, also had some, we also had something else happen today, Terry. We had, we had a first look for this oh, guy yeah. to yeah. go up today. I woke up to that. Nice. Yeah, I did. It I did. A dream. It was, it was, I watched that, and then I did Wordle in that order. Oh, oh, nice! Yeah. You are already you are having one bat-tastic day. I am. I had to know for... where we are in the hierarchy of your uh, of your morning coffee. <laughs> I think... Yeah, coffee was next. Let's, yeah, after, yeah, take a look Wordle. at that, Paul. It was watch video, have coffee, play Wordle. I guess I'll talk with Guy and Paul. No, 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 no. Watch the video, okay. Wordle. Coffee. <laughs> because okay. cause with work, okay. I, well, we're really now seriously, I feel better about the order. Dr drinking coffee. To make the top five. <laughs> drinking coffee before doing Wordle would give me an unfair advantage. So I make sure that I do it when I'm still half asleep. <laughs> well, speaking of unfair, it's pretty unfair that Guy gets to sit there and pose that figure. I know, right? Yeah, I just get to play with it. Just watch. Um, but I guess we do have a show to do. Let's go. I guess we'll do um, it. Yep. Uh, Michael, if I can go to a close-up here, uh, right around on the neck, so we can take a look at how the cape is in there. Okay, now, something I've done uh, when I was putting the cape on was that I bent the elbows and moved the arms forward. As I told you earlier, remember, you do have sharp points here, so I wanted those out of the way when I was attaching the cape. Cape attaches poser, poser tip right here. Yep, exactly. Um, I learned from poser tips from a show called How to Be a Poser. I always watch Never that for it. poser tips. Um, but it's going to clip in on either side, and this cape lays on there beautifully. Uh, that's another thing that Sideshow, or I mean that uh, that Hot Toys has uh, really jumped up on and, and really improved is the way in which those capes lay. Um, and so it, it is really a, it does fall well it yeah. is a very very good look um i'm going to see yes can you can we close uh here we're gonna again i know we're doing a lot of close up here today okay right there let me see if i get even more light okay right here is that clip okay and how it goes on there and yeah. i will just push that with my finger and uh it will release it, and then I can pull the cape right off. So we're going to do that a little bit later. But right now, we've got a cape on him, um, and we are ready to got go. To show you how long that cape is, 
Remember, we've got that step and elevation on the base. Yes. And it's still. Mm. As it should be. Below. That's how it should look. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So definitely. remember, look at, yeah, just look how uh, he had a. See, huge... this is why you don't want. This is why you don't want a, a wired cape with your DX Batman from from the Dark Knight because look how nicely that falls. Uh, you would be. It would be almost impossible to recreate that. Uh, with a, uh, it would take so much time. I, I'm I'm actually getting exhausted thinking about how much time I would need to get that sort of an effect. Right? I mean, God. You know what's okay. Traditionally, I used to. I used to have Tim Hansen come in and pose my capes for me. And, uh, and, but yeah, I know. Right. But uh, after watching him do it so many times, uh, I learned a thing or two from the master and capes are no longer my kryptonite. Nice. It's true. Yeah. I no longer, I no longer make that statement. So guy, I, what I want you to do. Look at how um, just a way, standard Tim, museum uh, with yeah, a Tim Hansen, by, Tim Hansen, by the way, tweaks. is sideshows, a uh, master uh, cut and sew artist. He's, he's the guy that's responsible for de developing all the cloth elements for, um, and his team are responsible for developing all of the cloth elements that you see that accompany premium format, six scale figures and um, life size things, what have you. They, they're like, the, they're the masters who handle that. So um, having clarified that for everybody out there, who's not aware of the reference that I just made, I think guy that we need a gun of some sort. Oh, and I'm thinking okay. That gun well, he's got a couple be... of these. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do the EMP gun, the EMP. All righty. EMP. Yeah. Um, now, We've got a couple of hand options here that we've talked about. Since mm -hmm. you want to use the grep now, I'm going to remove and set off to the side my batarang one. Okay. And I'm going now, to go ahead and modify my own gun. I have a that. right now, right uh, out of the box, we're going to have a right and left fist, but we do have the right and left uh, as far as the uh, weapon holding, but we do okay. have a left open hand, okay, more of a relaxed hand, which will work to slide underneath, kind of be the bracing hand for that. Okay. So because of that, I am going to choose that the right hand will be where I put the uh, EMP gun in. Is that all right with you? All right, sweet. All right. So I think that we should try, now I, I hope that we can get this thing to balance properly because what I'd like to do just for effect mm -hmm. is to have him stepping off of one of the steps. Um, okay. On the stand. You, you see what I'm saying? So in order to... Are we going to go outside and see your front steps? No. Okay. No, we're not. Um, um, if, we, um, if we could, because I need to see all of Terry, Terry's legs and all. Terry, um, I'm going to have you step back, but I'm going to need a foot. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, of course. I'm also going to bring in a prop. So I'm going to slide this over here and um, just have that as my back step. And all right. What's in here? Okay. This is a... Uh, for my prop, I'm using a box for the uh, Qbert um, video game from our friends at New Wave Toys. Ah, yours has arrived. Console, I'm sure that it will be soon. But... Okay, so basically we're going to have him stepping off. His back leg is going to be up on the step like this. Okay. And he's going to be just aiming just like this. All right. So maybe spin around. I like what you're doing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of Start with that leg because you've got a beautiful cape, uh, spectacular. Um, well, I think you, now this is important to know. Like uh, Terry, what are who are you wearing uh, when it comes to like who is your who does your capes? The, uh, the, cape, is, the cape is from the the um, from Eddie Bauer. Okay, yeah. the yes. Eddie Bauer is that their fall collection? Uh, this would actually be the winter collection. Uh, oh, this, okay. This this cape was originally purchased for my grandfather, and when he when he when he left it when he passed on he uh, he left it to me, so I was I was able to bring this into my home. Nice. <laughs> Somebody wants to help. Hey, what's up? What's up? Did Bat? Okay, we know that, and I'm excited about a feature film coming up soon. Dog. Uh, with all the super pets, did Batman have a dog? This Bat is actually a, this, this is Dobby, but when he but when we're talking about Batman, we just call him Batmite. Yeah, he had Ace the Bat Hound. He did? I think he, I think he Ace the Bat Hound. Yeah. yeah. That's spectacular. I didn't even Let's know do, about uh, the existence of uh, of Ace the Bat Hound. Yeah, he's just a no idea either. normal dog with a mask. I but he's cool, him. but he's Batman's dog. No dog so is a normal dog for those who who uh 
who own dogs. Um, now, for those of you who may have been watching while I was doing this and we're talking to uh, Terry and all, we're going to do a little close up here of the hand uh, and cowl and how it is on the gun. Now, these are, like Terry said, they're all like an actual glove, so they do have a little uh, bit of the fabric that comes back over. Um, like when it, you know. you're adjusting, the gauntlet is not fully attached. Okay, it's not glued on. So you're able to kind of pull mm -hmm. that back when you put the hand on. Um, if when you don't get it in all the way, depending, and you, oh, it keeps dropping, that's the way to do it. Hold that back, push it in until you feel that hand go in all the way. All that's right. That's a hot tip. Thank you, guy. I'm going to use that later. I, you know what? I got that tip from right. um, How to Be a Poser. It's a really good what? show. You I don't keep, know. You keep naming that show. I've yeah, never heard if of you've it. never seen it, um, <laughs> Yeah, it's huge. It's, it's, not, it's not true. It's a, it's a Where is it streaming? Uh, on oh, the you can find. Yes, you can find How to Be a Poser streaming on uh, Sideshow's YouTube channel. There are several episodes dating all the way back to 2015. Uh, I thought it started <laughs> in the 80s, but okay. <laughs> no, no, it just came to, it just kind of, it kind of started in the 80s in the back of my mind. The, uh, I was the kid a, in I was it is really young. In the 80s. It's a really young I was a kid that does kind of poser it. In the 80s, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh God. Speaking of God. God. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to know how I got these scars? No. No one want. No one wants no one. to know that. <clears throat> Things That's... got too serious for you, huh? What? It's hey, Barry so serious. Smith. <laughs> Welcome, Barry Smith. That is not. That is not Guy Clender on your screen, ladies and gentlemen. That is, in fact, my brother Barry. That's right. Hey, Barry. Thanks, Barry. These are actually not scars. I was aggressively eating this frosted jelly donut. And it, just, <laughs> it just got everywhere. It just exploded all over your face. Yeah, I, I didn't even know we were doing this figure today. I was uh, just like, what? We're doing Batman? I, I think my favorite part of all of that, other than you're very handsome, uh, Barry, is aggressively eating a donut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's no the other term way to eat a jelly aggressively donut, eating a donut. There was only a couple left. In. I wanted both. You don't want to, yeah, you don't want to be the guy without. <laughs> I just, without. if I could just point out to everybody at home that, you know, Barry is my six months younger brother. Uh, and he, I taught him everything he knows about eating a jelly donut. Yes. Um, yes. It's, uh, and he's, <laughs> yeah, apparently, <laughs> apparently you didn't teach him much. <laughs> Really have oh, you God, seen these scars? Have you seen the <laughs> absolute mess that is? <laughs> that How did you get those scars, Barry? Oh, How did you, did you get, get those? those scars? How did you get those, Barry? Um, Back wow. to his RV he goes. <laughs> Barry. Barry, for all for you, for those of you who are joining us, Barry is in fact my six months younger brother, uh, and he does he does live in an, an RV that's permanently based out of sideshow, out of, out of like in the sideshow parking lot because he can't afford the gas to move it. Um, <laughs> Because God knows we don't pay him for this. Yes. <laughs> yeah, too real. Yeah, yeah. All right. One, one Terry, I'm doing some uh, minor adjustments. And of course, I'm sure uh, at home uh, when you yes, get it, because yeah. I know you're going to be getting this one. Let's be honest. Do you, you're do you need to me it. to stand up uh, and, uh, and show you anything again? Or can I remove my uh, Eddie Bauer cape? Uh, I believe that's more for the audience to ask. Would the audience like to see more Terry Smith cape action? Uh, I know I would. <laughs> Um, the answer to that question is pretty much always yes. But Bumo, uh, there yeah. we go. Okay. <laughs> Barry, you're gonna finish this. Barry's hey, gonna take it. I in. thought you said you want to see more Barry Smith action. I, I, I didn't no, catch no, that, Barry. Terry, Terry Smith action. Little bite. Thank. You. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I haven't had a donut in years. I'm really jealous. It's um, um, yeah. So apparently, like I a, did. I did find out. That it was actually Barry Smith that threw the batarang uh, at me today. I th I did not know that. That's not true. That was me all the way from St. Louis. Yeah. Yeah. That was me all the way from St. Louis. <laughs> so, Big um, news. Big so, news. So, um, what I want to do here is uh, I'm going to spin the figure around. I'm going to hold the cape out of the way because, Terry, I know there's probably going to be some minor tweaks in the way in which the legs are. So, let me kind of hold that out mm -hmm. of the way and you let's talk about the way in which he's positioned. Okay, uh, well, the first thing I wanna see if we can do is there is there a way that we can actually get the uh, the butt of the uh, of the gun to brace up against his shoulder like that? Or will that, uh, are, are, there, are there armor, thank you. Oh. Are there, or will the armor collisions prove well, to be too difficult? Let's take a look. You do have that kind of large, what yeah. is, it's a 
plastic and molded piece. Um, mm -hmm. I would wind up extending the arm a little forward. We can try that. That's I'm fine. happy to, yeah, yeah, to try any if you want to. Whoop. Well, that's what I talked about with the. Uh, that'll, that'll happen. With the uh, cowl. So you would actually like it. Um, definitely. What I'm going to do yeah, is definitely. hold it. Do you want it? You're wanting to try and do go underneath the arm? Check, or, out, the, or check on? out the preview. Okay. Check out where I have it on my shoulder here. No, as far as what you're what you're asking to do, yeah, the length of this because of it's... the uh, wired piece because of this kind of protective yeah. handle is actually longer than you'd be able to do that. See okay. if I hold that so there. Long, yeah, see how there it is in that crook that you're asking about, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. there you can see that the wrist peg cannot connect. Yeah. So we'll we not, do we'll have to go, go either okay. under or up and over. So the, so I have an alternative plan for this. Of course you do. Yeah. And uh, so I'm just going to go back up to my stand. Um, and we're just going to do a museum pose. Oh, okay. okay. Here, I was all excited about that there. Well, there's a, there's a quick, he's not quite pleased with me, but... But there he is. Yeah. For those of you watching. All right. All right. Can you see me, guy? No. Uh, the nice part is we're currently admiring the pose I, I uh, the first one that you had me do. But okay, let's take a look. Okay. I dig him. Boy, I gotta love the bats. Okay. So okay, we are going oh, to good. hand up. Okay, I'm gonna extend out, as not to be. And the cool thing is, is if you wanted to, you could even have him like, and we're running out of time here, so don't do this now. But you would be able to, you could actually have in this hand, a batarang hand with him holding a batarang. Whoa, you, you maniac. The batarang hand only exists for the right hand. That exists no for the right hand. Um, now, I do, well, you know what? You brought it up, and so I am curious if I could really kind of do it in the other gripping hand. Um, you know, okay. it's an idea. And so hmm. I think I don't think there's anything wrong with um, with ideas. OK, so let's try I, what I'm doing on this one here while I'm trying to not mess up legs or other is, as I said, pull back on that uh, gauntlet. And leg action, you have that up, <clears throat> down, this here. Yes, sir. <laughs> the commentary is the best guy. Oh, yeah, the whole. And it just in it. I'm saying it down. I'm not touching my It's actually kind of like watching an episode of How to Be a Poser. <laughs> um, I get to externalize my, uh, I, I get to have an external monologue. Yeah, and that's cool. Is that a little, and I mean, I does take, that work yeah, for you there? Right. That does. And what I would do is I would actually take the right side of that cape and bring it around a little bit. And where there am I bringing it around to? Bring it around to a little, a little bit, yeah, right there. Just kind okay. of drape it so where, the, so where that line is kind of, kind of parallel to his leg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly where you want it. Spectacular, yeah. spectacular. Awesome. Yeah. Um, now this, I'm right. glad you brought up the cape, because that when I was doing all of my posing, I was moving the cape out of the way, as not to hit the arm gauntlets. You could, uh, you could do it without the cape too, if you wanted. I know there's. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah. You may want to do it with just the Bruce Wayne head, but do you have anything that you might be able to add to that? What we're looking at oh, here, that might um, well, there is here. another thing. Um, you mentioned that one of your favorite parts about uh, this figure is actually the gloves. Uh, yes. You like the look of the gloves, and that is because it looks like something you'd wear yes. on a motorcycle. Yes, so I, I think, think I what you mean, going. what yeah. you may be curious about. Oh, yeah. Oh, All hello, right. old friend. As you, you can see, Damn. this one yeah. is huge. Okay, it's taking up the entire table. I'm going to turn the light off. We're going to turn it on and off. Um, you're going to tell me what you'd like to do, folks, uh, with that. So but let's take a look yeah. at how beautiful it is. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to kind of take that thing and put it at an angle instead of flat to the camera. Right? Like, let's put the front, there you go, a bit like that. Move it off to your right a little bit so that the front tire is, is just still on the whiteboard. Yeah, but uh, the light board. And then let's bring Batman back in. All right. And just put him, put him between the camera and the rear wheel a bit. All Can right. Can you do that? Yes. And I want to quickly point out a few things before we get this going. Number one, 
This one is almost fully complete. When you get it, we're going to turn on our little lights there. You do have two little um, red posts that will hold the bat cycle in position uh, from not rolling, mm -hmm. but of course you can make it roll if you so like. I'm doing this backwards here, but okay. You talking a little something? Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, like so. I'm gonna get that battering out cool. of there. Um, I'm actually not seeing it because I'm turned around. Um, when you not, when you feel like it's stable, go ahead and step away, guys, I'm so we can get away. Our, our customary our customary image of the uh, background behind him and with the figure. Yes, and that's our that's our winning shot for the day. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, anybody who's lucky enough to get this bat pod, never let it go. That's one of the things that I will always think. Don't let it go. This <laughs> is go. obvious. Obviously, he's in the wrong parking spot. This guy's not mm -hmm. pleased. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> All right. Uh, beautiful additions. <laughs> there you go. I, I wanted a Bane impression. I wanted a Bane I impression. Up, I straight up love Bane. <laughs> Tom, Hardy, Tom Hardy as Bane is one, one of my favorite things in cinema history. That's beautiful. Um, this is uh, this is a great figure if you don't have um, either of the earlier versions of Dark Knight or Dark Knight Rises. This is an option to get um, all of the things that pretty much came with those, um, as well as some very very good improvements. Uh, yep. The Bat Pod um, that was a first day. I didn't get it in its original uh, the original okay. uh, release, uh, but I made sure I didn't. Uh, miss out this time, which is why I that's, had it ready to good. go because this one is. Uh, oh, this would be mine. That's good. So make sure, make all sure, right, to pick everybody, up a bad pod. Make sure to that's pick about up a bad all the, pod. That's about all the time we have for today. I think that uh, I think it's time to wrap. I just want to say, oh, hello, Alfred. Um, while Guy is bringing on the final figures, I just want to give a, a final thank you to everybody who's joining us today, everybody who made time on a, on a Tuesday to watch or, to watch us live. Again, we do this every Tuesday at 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, and frequently we'll do it more than once a week. So monitor all the sideshow social media um, channels so that you can be aware of when those special extra episodes might occur. Uh, again, huge shout out to those of us, those of you who are joining us today. Might have been brought on here specifically because it was a Dark Knight episode. As you can see, we have ample opportunity to explore Dark Knight figures um, on this show. So I'm sure we'll be revisiting that again sometime in the near future. Uh, again, and uh, as usual, I want to give a shout out to all my to all my co-hosts, both of my co-hosts, Guy Clender and Paul Hernandez. Thank you so much, as well as to the Sideshow production team. Um, that's uh, producer Alan, super producer Sam, and producer Michael. Thanks for holding things together and for putting things together when they, when they fall apart. Great save today. Thank you so much for that. Uh, and again. <laughs> Uh, again, uh, thanks. Uh, and also, I want to throw out, let's see, there was uh, Kiko Santos, I believe. One final thing is Kiko Santos, happy birthday. Thanks for happy joining birthday. us on your birthday. Hopefully, we were able to make it a little bit more special for you. Um, and I hope it's epic the rest of the day, however long that is for you, wherever you are. Again, thanks, everybody, for joining us. We really appreciate you and hope to see you again here next week. Um, and as always, uh, don't forget to let your geek side show. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Later.